to use case. Now comes the swim lane diagram. This is uh, nothing but a variation of activity diagram only. So I'm not saying you have to make all the diagrams. I'm just saying that these are the additional diagrams that will enhance, emancipate the uh, description of your use case. So this represents the flow of activity. This uh, swim lane diagram represents the flow of activities which is actually described by your use case. At the same time, it will indicate which actor or analysis class has responsibility for the action. I'm just talking about the classes. We'll be talking later in detail. But what classes you have defined or identified or the actor has the responsibility for this action. And the responsibilities are presented in the parallel segments that we divide the diagram vertically. I'll show you. Now, if you are, say, into swimming, you know there are lanes. These are the parallel segments that we have divided in the diagram vertically. This, these are different swim lanes. And each swim lane is representing a class or an actor. So what is the responsibility of, of which class is shown here? Homeowner, camera, interface, this responsibility. So this is like the lanes in a swimming pool. Let us assume we have defined or found out three classes. Homeowner, camera and interface. Interface is nothing but the user interface. Interface class will represent the user interface as seen by the homeowner. What you do? So something will come up. That will be the prompt for re-entry. Prompt for another review. This will be interface is going to be. So just take an example that the activity diagram, let us say you will get two prompts and that will be the responsibility of the interface, user interface. Let me show you, prompt for re-entry and prompt for another view. So you have the prompt for re-entry. This will only come when you enter the wrong password. And there is one more the in the lower part if you see, prompt for another view. So in swim load, enter username password. If it is okay, if it is okay, we go to select major function. This is one modern one. But if invalid password is there, the interface will take place and that will be prompt for re-entry. And it will again go back to the homeowner if it is expecting again. So valid, select major function, invalid interface will again re-prompt. Number of times, say five times you have allowed it, a user. So this will go for five times. So now this interface is a swim lane diagram. There is one more part here, as I was just uh, suggesting, the prompt for another view. Now, when you have the, you know, if he is want to see thumbnail or a specific camera, there are parallel activity. When the generating the output video is the camera activity. The camera class will take care of generating the output video. Now, view camera output in labeled video, window. So, this is the homeowner activity, but it will go to the interface because the prompt will come in the user interface. Okay. The prompt for another view. And if see another camera, it will again go back to that diamond. Otherwise, it will exit this function. So this is the work of interface. So what we have seen here is these the swim lane uh, interface or interface swim lane. These prompts and the decision associated will fall under this category in this swim lane. Okay. But they are going back to homeowner swim lane where the homeowner actions occur. So we have use cases, then we made the, the supplement, and then we made the another supplement swim lane diagram. 